Hey guys, welcome to my channel, According to Ria, and of course, I'm Ria. So for today's video, um, I am doing a nursing school haul. <laughs> I have watched tons and tons of these videos, and I have been obsessing over making one. Let's start with the part that I feel like everyone's like always the most excited about, which is scrubs. I have been waiting to buy a pair of scrubs all my entire life. <laughs> um, and I am so excited that I'm getting to do this. The scrubs that I got were the Dickie scrubs. Now my school colors are Caribbean blue. We were able to get any style that we wanted, but it had to be Caribbean blue. Also disclaimer, um, my fire thing, whatever you call it, is going off. I changed the battery, still beeping. I don't know what to do. All right, so for the first one, um, I don't know if I said this, but I got two different um, sets of scrubs. And these are kind of expensive, not gonna lie. Um, they weren't as expensive as they can get, but they were pretty hefty. I think I paid like 120 for both pairs. Yeah, this is the Dickies Balance drawstring and then a adjustable waist, obviously, hence the drawstring. They're pretty long. This one does not have any slits, so I am thinking about going back and getting slits because I don't like the way they fall on my ankle. Um, but it just has your two standard pockets in the back um, and then it has two large pockets in the front and then a zipper pocket right here and then a regular open pocket right here and then this is the matching top um the so this is i'm gonna cover my my school logo but if you live in florida and you're in tallahassee you know what school i go to because of the colors but um yeah it has side pockets and then it also has this really cute zipper. It's, you know, kind of similar to pants with the zipper pocket and the regular open pockets. And I like that it has like this stretchy like mesh on the side. So it's it's fitted, but it's very comfortable. Yeah. So the second pair that I got, which is the Advanced, these are actually my favorite. The material of these, I have, it's just, it's amazing. These have the same drawstring like waistband, but they don't have the um the pool so they just kind of you know make sure you get your size and then they'll be pretty comfortable um like six pockets in the front same zipper as the other one pretty standard just the material on these is insane like they're so comfortable it's not even funny and then of course i got the matching top covering my school logo again um it has the same little thing going on as far as the pockets on the pants it looks very similar to the pockets on the top oh yeah i also got a dicky jacket they didn't have the one that i wanted but this one was pretty similar um i just if you guys wear scrubs you know those scrub jackets that are like super thin and they just feel like they turned a scrub top into a jacket i hate that i don't know so i really like this one because it actually felt like a jacket like it had the cute little you know the little ribbed part that goes around the neck and i was like oh that's so cute um, so I did get a small in this. This is the um, Dickies Dynamics. So the next thing I got was these. I ordered these off of Amazon and I thought that these were like thermals. Like I wear thermals to work that are like actually kind of thick. These are not it. Just a long sleeve um, white t-shirt. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I will be putting all the links below. Um, I got a pack of five, I believe, for like 40 bucks, which is okay but you know i like them they're pretty comfortable um this is a large they do run big um i will be putting all the information in the description box below though so you guys can like just directly go check it out but um it's based off of bus size and so i got a large which is what the the size chart said i should get it's pretty spot on um the body portion is a little loose but when i put it under my scrub it's it's perfectly fine but the next thing i got of course compression socks so these are the AC Actin Put Compression Socks. These are white. My school does require us to wear all white socks. Um, and these are the ones that go, they stop just below the knee. And I did try these on. I saw someone else have these in their video and she said that they were kind of like itchy or like scratchy. Um, I didn't have any problems. They're pretty comfortable to me. I really like them. Definitely going to help prevent varicose veins. Um, so that is why I did get them. So I'm a little OCD. So I decided... Um, that I was going to get these masks. And these are matching masks from Mandela Scrubs. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But these are in the color Caribbean Blue. And I was like, matching masks with my scrubs? I think so. Um, so they were about 10, 20 bucks for, for two. And then each mask comes with three of these filters um, in the pack. So 
I thought that was super cute. They have this style. Um, and then they also have one that's like a little bit thicker. I, I can't even think of what it's called. But I will be putting all that in the description bar below. So I really like these because they have like the drawstring. So like they're not going to be too, too big on you. It's a good quality mask. I really like them. They don't feel cheap at all. Um, and they match my scrub. So why not? All right, so now I'm gonna move on to shoes. So you guys, buying shoes was one of the most difficult things for me because you never know how the shoe is gonna turn out once you've worn it a while. Um, so it took me a really long time, but I finally came down to two. So I got a pair of slip-ins um, and a pair of like sneakers. So our rules were they had to be white and all leather. Um, so I bought a pair of slides I got from my local uniform store. And these are called Anywhere and y'all, so my arch is not terribly high but i do have an arch and so if a shoe is too flat it's going to be terribly uncomfortable and the way that this feels on my heel is just insane like but like once you put your foot in it it like there's it's like a spring it's so bouncy and it's so comfortable and it's leather very easy to clean um there's no like holes up top so you don't have to really worry about anything like falling down um we i don't know that we were allowed to get crocs but maybe we were but i just feel like with crocs the holes, I would just be like, if something falls, something drops, it's right into the sock. I cannot stand a moist sock. No. Okay, so these last pair, I was really debating because, you know, but I decided to go ahead and get these, even though they look very orthopedic. I got these, and these are the Skechers Max Cushioning. And they look like this. So, you guys, these shoes. They are so comfortable, it's not even funny. Like I went to a physical store to like get the size, but they don't sell the white ones in store. Like I have to go online. I believe I got these at um, Shoe Carnival, I think, or something like that. They were about $80. It was a little, you know, a little pricey, but they're extremely comfortable as you can see. You know, they're like a platform, they're very thick and i absolutely love them i love them i love them i was going to get the rebox classics but i tried them on um and they were just a little flat i also had the rebox princess on which are very popular nursing shoes but they're so there's no cushion like underneath the soles of your feet there's no i felt like i was walking on the ground and i was like i'm going to wear these out and i'm going to be very uncomfortable all right so now i'm going to move on to like the little trinkets and like the little accessories and stuff that i bought um okay so of course i had to get these um so i did see different ones of these but you know and everyone was like oh i don't want to get the one that has the big but i don't care this color is so freaking cute to me i do not care that everyone has it whatever this is in the color raspberry um so they do have one it's a little bit thicker than this but we were not required to bring a lot of um things to class so i was like everything that they asked us to bring would definitely fit in here but yeah so this is super cute i love that because the color i love pink so when you open it up it has like a pocket right here and this is like where you would put your sit your bandage scissors your pin line and then right here goes your stethoscope um so yeah and it's super soft on the inside and it has a nice little zipper and it'll fit right in my backpack the next thing I got were these pin lights, and these are the Poway Pin Light and Bandage Scissors Kit. Of course, I got them in pink because I love pink. So I got these, of course. They're super cute, just simple pink. They had a bunch of different colors. Everything is totally up to you. My school was not picky about the colors of accessories we needed to buy, so. And then I also got, um, it came with these. So this is the pink one. It has the dilations on it. And it also has um, the little ruler type thing right here. Um, one thing that is important to note about these pin lights though is that these are both LED pin lights. LED lights are only good for ear, nose, and um, mouth. You do not want to shine LED lights in the eye. So I'd already bought these. Um, so I had to order another pack. And this pack um, has LED and warm light. So the warm light is what is okay to shine in the eyes. Just keep that in mind. So I did have to like specifically search up warm light pin light because off rip they give you the LED lights and yeah. Okay. So we were also required to get a second hand watch, which is just a watch that has like the hand for the seconds. <laughs> so of course I got the one that you probably have seen already. This is the Casio watch. Um, I got this one in particular because it was, um, it was white and I really didn't want to get anything that was like really colorful because 
we do kind of have a theme going on with our uniform and I wanted it to be kind of clean. Only thing about this is that the watch face was a little bit smaller than it came across on the um, on the image. But I mean, it's still very readable, honestly, but I really like how it's pretty and colorful. Um, like the, like the hours, if you guys can see that. And it, just for like reference, so this is the, um, I don't even know, but I think this is like the smaller face size for the Apple Watch. Um, and this is like what it looks like in comparison. So it is kind of small. And even in comparison to a regular watch, it's kind of small, but it's doable. Okay, so one of the things that I was the most excited for was of course, my stethoscope. I did a lot of research online um, and initially I was going to get the Lipman, um, the lightweight two, I think something like that. But I saw a lot of bad reviews and I did talk to a couple of nurses at my job and they just kind of were like straight away from that. So I was like, okay, so I did some more research and I decided to get the Lipman Classic 3 because they said it was better than the um, lightweight and it wasn't terribly expensive. It was like $110, but I, I know that you can get it off of Amazon for like, I ordered this from All Heart and that's probably why it was more expensive than if I had gotten it off of Amazon, but you live and you learn. So of course I got it to match my, um, my uniform so this is in caribbean blue and it has the orange tubing which i thought was super cute they do have a caribbean blue one that's like all plain and like all silver but i really like this pop of orange so here she is she's so cute you guys i love her like can, can you see the vision can you ah, thumbnail and then on top of that i was going to get it um like get it engraved but I was not about to pay 20 extra bucks for that so I went on Amazon and I found these so this is a charm this is from Patricia Ray studio um, and she makes charms that go on stethoscopes she makes different ones but I really like this one and so it is just a metal clasp looks like that I got my name on it um, and like you can choose like what kind of picture you can choose your font I thought it was super cute and it was 10 bucks 10 bucks and it's pretty good quality and it's it's adorable so all you do with this is you put it of course on the part that's going to be facing away and then you just tighten it with your fingers and boom isn't that cute and it has like an extra little flare i was like okay but then the last accessory that i got was of course a backpack so I did purchase um, a North Face backpack. This is the Jester um, and it is in all black. I thought this one was really cute. My favorite part was the padding like on the lumbar area, I guess for like lumbar support. And I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need that because when I show you these books, yeah. So it is just a plain black backpack. It has two pouches on the side for water, which I'm probably never gonna use because we can't actually bring water into, um, into the facilities um so yeah this backpack also was about 70 bucks so but i heard these, i heard that these last a really long time so of course it has the handle for you to hold it the backpack straps um i also like that it has the i think it's like a 15 inch backpack sleeve um and then right here is a smaller zipper in the front and when you open that you do have um, an even smaller compartment right here. And then you have these three right here. I thought that was pretty cool. And this is not a deep compartment. Also, I will be doing an unboxing. So stay tuned for that coming up next. <laughs> all right, so now that we have all the accessories and the clothing and stuff out of the way, I'm gonna move on to actual school supplies that I did purchase for this semester. So a lot of the stuff I already had because I am a pen hoarder, pen and pencil hoarder. So I keep a lot of those things anyway. Um, I also had erasers. I had a dry erase board. I got a really big one um, that I used when I started anatomy last year. So I'm definitely going to be using that still. I have a lot of sticky notes and stuff like that. So the things that I did buy were minimal. Of course, you want to make sure that you always have flashcards. Um, unless you're not a flashcard person, like I know some people will go onto Quizlet and stuff like that and make their own flashcards. That does not work for me. I like to have physical flashcards to flip through. Um, so I did get, I got these from Target. I think they were like 80 cents or something like that. So these are the regular three by five 
um, ruled, like lined, ruled index cards. I got multiples of these. And then I also went ahead, I wanted to try out these really large ones. Um, and these are four by six. So we're gonna see what is more cohesive for my learning strategy. Four of the regular ones and one of the really large ones. And I also bought a, um, a pronged folder just in case we have like paperwork or like assignments they wanna give us. I did not wanna buy a binder because I don't see myself um, needing all that because I am going to be taking notes on my iPad. So I also got um, this right here. So even though I'm going to be doing digital note taking, I did want to have just a journal on hand. So this one is super cute. I think it was like 10 bucks. I got it at Target. Um, it just says notes on it and it does flip up. I am going to go back and get another one that flips like, you know, the traditional way. But I just liked how this was giving me, um, what do they call those things? Like those, pa those notepads are usually like yellow. But I just, I like that look. So I went ahead and got this. I thought it was super cute. It does come with a pretty decent amount of pages. So that should be, it should work. And these also are perforated, perf, perf, perfor, whatever. So they rip out very easily. So the last things I got were, um, of course, something to write with because I just, I can't get over it. Um, so I did get these paper mate felt tip pens. I'm very iffy about these because from my experience, they dry out really fast, but I was like, whatever, there were 10 bucks and they're so cute. Um, and these are 0.7 felt tips. I do not like anything over one, like 1.0 because it's just, it's huge. Um, and then I also, I found these, I got these at Target as well. Oh, um, I actually got these at Walmart, but I got these at Target. These are the Stadler Rollerball 10 Tri Plus Roller. I love rollerball pants and they came in gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So I love that. So then um, I also got just some plain highlighters. Um, I have highlighters, but they're all like different sizes and colors and I just wanted them to look very uniform. Um, so I went ahead and got these and it did come with an extra, oh my gosh. It did come with an extra yellow one, um, but yeah, it's just simple Sharpie highlighter. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about are my textbooks. So we were required to get two bundles. Um, here's one and here's one so every school is going to have different books i'm not i'm literally just letting you guys know what my school required us to get um and these books are supposed to carry us throughout our program all right let's see what we got so i'll start with the largest so the largest book we have right here this is pharmacology a patient-centered nursing process approach um by evolve um and this is the 10th edition the second largest book is going to be clinical calculations with applications to general and specialty areas ninth edition this is also i believe these are all by evolve but these are this is what they required us to get and then this is just our access code that we you need so that was the one thing they were like you know don't try to cheat it and like go get a cheaper book or go um on textbooks.com whatever because you need to have that access code the last book in this bundle is my nursing drug reference administer drugs safely accurately and professionally um 34th edition oh yeah this is also by evolve so this book is little but big second bundle has bigger books love that for me this is the fundamentals of nursing the art and science of person-centered care ninth edition yes i love like new new school supplies new textbooks this is it's beautiful Okay, the second one is Taylor's Clinical Nursing Skills and Nursing Process Approach, and this is the fifth edition, and this is by Wal Walters Kluwer. Okay, so the last one is Sparks and Taylor's Nursing Diagnosis Reference Manual, 11th edition by Linda Lee Phelps. This is a cute little book. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So like I said, I am going into my first semester, so I am just starting my journey. I do plan to... Um, do like kind of like weekly vlogs and document my experience honestly this is brand new territory so i would love for you guys to follow me along with my journey thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video